Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare a video on P2P cycle in Oracle Fusion. If you are aware of an Oracle Apps R12, then you are also aware of an P2P cycles in Oracle Apps R12. So similarly, we are also having the P2P procure to pay cycle in the Oracle Fusion also. Okay. So today in this video, I am going to explain that. Before starting, I just want to tell you that please like, share, subscribe my video. So first of all, I will tell you what is the procure to pay cycle in Oracle Fusion. So as we know that while creating any procure to pay cycle, we are having requisition first. OK, so we will create some requisitions based on this requisition. We can create the purchase order. Then we will create the receipts or we will receive the items into our inventory and we will create the receipts for it then we will create the invoice for that particular item and lastly we will goes for the payment this is the first way in the second way we can skip this requisition and we can directly start with the purchase order receipt invoice and the payment okay so we will see the both the approach so i had divided this video in several parts in this first part, we will see that how to create the requisition and how to create the purchase order. In next part, we will see the further. OK, so first of all, we will see that how to create the requisition. So for creating the requisition, first of all, I have to go to my Fusion instance. So I am on the home page of an Oracle Fusion instance. So here is an one option that is procurement. So I will click on the procurement. Then we have to create the purchase requisition. So I am clicking on this purchase requisition. So this will load one requisition page in front of us. So here at the top, we are having one option that is a more task. I am just clicking on this drop down and I am just clicking on enter requisition line. OK, so we want to create the new requisition. That's why I had clicked on the option enter requisition line. So by this page, we can create the requisition. So we have to fill some mandatory information. So first I have to select the item. So I am selecting the item as a 00106. So then after some fill will get automatically populated. So here quantity is one. So I will make the quantity as 10. Then UAM name that is EA that is by default. This price is also by default came. We can also change the price or we can keep the same. So I'm keeping the same. So currency here is an USD. So I'm keeping the same. Then here is some delivery details. So requester and other things. So we will keep the same. Then here is an charge of account. Then here is an quantity and total price. OK, so everything is over there. OK, now what we have to do if you want to add some note for the supplier then we can also add that now i am going to the top and i will click on add to cart as soon as i clicked on this add to cart it will add the one requisition into this cart okay so you can see here add it to cart okay so i am just clicking on this cart now and here is an option of review if you want to review you can review otherwise you can submit okay so i just clicked on the submit button when I clicked on the submit button, it will pop up one message that is 204088 was submitted. OK, so what I will do, I will click on the OK and here I will go and I will write the requisition REQ number. So this is my requisition number. OK, so you can see that this requisition is in the pending approval state. OK, so I am just clicking on this particular requisition again so in background it will submit one ESS job for approving so that ESS job got completed so the status is now approved okay so now I am clicking on done and here also you can see that this requisition is approved okay so now I will go to the data model screen and here I will open one query prompt I will give one name to the query prompt then I will select here the data source and here I will write the query so in which table this requisition is getting stored so the requisition information is stored into the 
pure equations headers or table in oracle r12 but in oracle fusion it will store into pur requisitions header or table okay so i will write the query select star from pur requisition headers all where requisition number equals to what is our requisition number 204088 okay so i will just click on okay and then here is a data and then here is a view and then table view okay so you can see one line over there a requisition with the same item okay and you can also check the submission date okay so which is the correct so this is our requisition okay so this is the requisition summary so i will just do one thing i will copy this query and i will paste this query on the notepad so this is the first table that is por requisitions header solve first table for requisition is por requisitions header solve the second table is por requisitions line solve instead of just header you have to replace it with lines and for the distribution the table is por r e q distributions all okay so these are three main table which is involved for the creating the requisition okay now the second thing so if we want to create the purchase order now based on the requisition how we can create that purchase order we will see now okay so i am back on my oracle fusion instance i am just clicking on home button now i want to create the purchase order so here is a purchase order so i am clicking on this purchase order icon so this dashboard open in front of us for the purchase order it will show all the purchase order related history so now we have to create the new purchase order so here is an one book icon i am just clicking on this book icon so here are lot of options are there position for order for agreements for deliveries multiple options but what we want to do we want to create the purchase order means nothing but the order okay so here is an create order means create the purchase order option if i clicked on this create purchase order so it will create the individual purchase order okay but if i want to create the purchase order using this requisition so for that i have to click on this process requisition so i just click on this process requisition it will open one new page for us okay so here is an requisition so here we have to give our requisition number so i will just copy the requisition number and i will paste it here and i will click on search icon so you can see over here our requisition is over here so i am just clicking on this requisition so you can see all the detail of this requisition including the distribution line level information charge of account everything okay i am just clicking on done now here is an option add to document builder so for creating the po we have to click on this button add to document builder okay so one prompt will open in front of us so what to create the new purchase order so i am selecting that then other things you have to keep as it is because it has comes from the requisition so i am just clicking on okay button so now this prompt is appear in front of us at the right hand side so what it had contained it had contained all the information which is coming from requisition the requisition business unit requisition type supplier detail everything the amount quantity everything okay so here is an option create so i am clicking on this create button so one form is open in front of us the document purchase order us 164162 was created so this us 164162 this is nothing but our purchase order number po number so i am just copying this click on okay you can also see that this purchase order number is also over here okay so what i will do i will note down this po number so po number so this one is my po number so now what i have to do so here i had not given any type of a supplier so i am giving the supplier over here so i had given the supplier as dell inc 
then the site the supplier contacts the other details will automatically populate and then in terms i don't want to change anything you can also see that there is an one line which is coming from the requisition as it is with price and all okay so here just we have to click on this action button and you have to validate this purchase order first so no error or warning were found okay so we can proceed now so you can do one thing you can save this purchase order first so you can see last saved okay now i am submitting this purchase order so as soon as i clicked on submit it will pop up one prompt of submission just click on okay okay now i am going to the home i will again click on this purchase order i will click on this book icon and here is an manage orders so i will search for my purchase order for that i need the purchase order number here is the order tab i will give the purchase order number and and i will click on the search button so this is my purchase order uh, which is in the approved state okay as soon as i clicked on the submit button so it will go for the approval so it is approved so that's why the status is now open want to check the status so we can click on this purchase order and we can check the status so here is in status it is open okay so everything is there so this is the first way of creating the purchase order based on the requisition okay so i am going back to the home screen so first of all we will see that which table are affected while creating the purchase order so these tables are the requisition table and now i am going to write the po tables so the first table which is affected while creating the purchase order in oracle r12 is po headers all and the same table name in fusion also okay the second table is po lines all i'm just copying this and changing po lines all so this lines table will store the line information the third table is po distributions all this will store the distribution information for the po and the last one is an so line location all so which is storing the line location information for the purchase order i will go to the query prompt i will write the query select star from po header all where so where our po number is stored it is stored in the segment 1 same as r12 so what is my po name So this is my PO name. I will write it here, and I will click on OK. Now click on Data, click on View, click on Table View. So you can see one PO over there. So which is in the open state. Okay. So which is having the all the PO header information. Similarly, you can query for the line also and the distribution also. so till now i had told you how to create the requisition and how to create the purchase order now i will tell you how to create the purchase order without requisition okay so i just click on the purchase order so here is an one book icon click on this book icon then here is an option create order okay so here you have to give some information that which order you need we need the purchase order okay then here is an business unit so this business unit are mapped with my user so it is automatically came then we have to give the supplier so i am giving the supplier as dell then supplier site will populate automatically then here is an usd and this is my buyer for my user and i will click on the create button so that information is carried on this page okay so most of the information is already filled so i am going directly to the line section so here is a plus icon i will add one line you can add more than one line also so here i am taking the item as a00106 tab out other information populated automatically i am taking just uh, two items with the price 50 rupees each so it will calculate the total price also 
then here is a uh, schedules i'm just clicking on the schedules so what we have to do over here here you can fill the requested date so i'm giving the requested date as well as the promise date then after we will go ahead then here is an receipt routing is direct delivery then here is an a two way matching so you know that there are different types of matching two way matching three way matching and four way matching i am just changing this direct delivery to standard receipt because we want to generate the receipts for this purchase order and other details are same as it is and here is the distribution so i am just clicking on the distribution so in distribution we are having the delivery location and the quantity with the price okay so you can validate this purchase order just go to actions and click on this validate so we got the message no error or warning were found so click on okay now we are good to save it so i just click on save now we are going to submit and one pop up will also come and it will shows us our purchase order number so my purchase order number is us164163 i will just click on okay and i will write the purchase order number or here so this is my second purchase order so for the same we will also create the receipts so in this video we had seen how to create the requisition and how to create the purchase order by using the requisition and without requisition okay so in second part we will see how to create the receipts and invoices in p2p cycle